After starting my new series, Life After Housewives, I asked the audience, who would you guys like to see next? By far, Lori Peterson came in first place. The ex-reality star has a strong fan base. And even though her popularity holds strong with the public, there still may be some things you didn't know. So let's get into what Lori did after she left the show. But first, a quick background of how she got there. Lori was born October 28, 1960. However, there are a couple sources out there that disputes this date. They have her birth date being recorded as June 10, 1959. What isn't being disputed? She was born and raised in Idaho in a farming community on a farm. It was during these years of her life she developed a deep love for animals and nature. And in high school, she was the Idaho State High Jumping Champion. She also has a business degree, doubling major in management and marketing with a minor in finance. On March 21, 2006, Lori made her debut on The Real Housewives of Orange County. The show showed her going through a tumultuous divorce with ex-husband Philip Waring. The ex-couple had three children together, Ashley, Josh, and Sophia. And although the show portrayed her going through a divorce, there were still certain things she couldn't talk about, like actually being thrown out of the house, as many sources reported. However, her son Josh's behavior problems were documented on the show. That first season, Lori did struggle to make ends meet. Fast forward to season two, and Lori's life made a complete turnaround. On St. Patrick's Day 2006, she met George Peterson. George was a rich land developer with a net worth of $20 million. They met through a mutual friend. After the couple went on a trip to Lake Como, George popped the question and Lori said yes. However, Lori's life still wasn't without his hardships. Sources began to report that right before season three, her ex, Philip Waring, took Lori to court to stop her spouse's support and to stop Sophia from appearing on the show. The judge ruled to stop spousal support and he allowed Sophia to remain on the show. And then there was her son Josh, who she just couldn't seem to communicate with. His behavior problems were continuous, but even worse than that was the fact that Josh began taking drugs. Around this same time, this is when problems with George's ex-wife Gina began to appear. Many say Gina had a strong disdain for Lori. She even had her mother call Vicky, who was Lori's boss at the time, to inform her that George was no good to his kids. On season four, Lori and George's lavish wedding was televised on the show. After the wedding, George and Lori had a blended family of seven children, his four and Lori's three. Lori had finally found Mr. Wright. Unfortunately, that didn't stop other troubles from coming her way. Lori had discovered that Josh was doing drugs, so she made the hard decision and called the cops on him. As a result, Josh spent 240 days in jail. Devastated with the fact that her son was on drugs, Lori thought this would be better to handle as a family privately, so she walked away from the show. Or simply put, she quit. After Josh's 08 arrest in which he was charged with three felony counts of possession of a controlled substance with intent to sell and six misdemeanors related to drug use or possession, he also pled guilty to a hit and run. Life got worse for Josh. In 09, he was charged with possession of drug paraphernalia and spent 30 days in jail. Then in 2011, Josh got married to a woman who also struggled with drugs. Her name was Hannah. In 2012, they had a daughter named Kennedy. Ultimately, Lori had to gain custody of Kennedy because both Josh and his wife were still struggling with drugs and the arrest didn't stop coming. In 2015, he was arrested for resisting a peace officer and drug possession. And in the midst of all that, he managed to move in for a brief period with George's ex-wife, Gina. According to Gina, who was dating basketball star Dennis Rodman at the time, 
George abruptly evicted her from the home she had been living in for 20 years, which he was allowed to do because a part of the divorce settlement was that George's name would remain on the home and if he ever sold the home, she would get a stake in the cell. But she wasn't ready to move. She was extremely upset. She continuously badmouthed George and Lori and accused both of them of stealing her child. She even reached out to a local newspaper complaining that she had nowhere to put Dennis's things. And even though dealing with Gina has been an arduous task, it certainly isn't the most stressful thing that Lori has dealt with since leaving the show. Her life's most challenging task took place in 2016. A man named Daniel Lopez was shot. According to the police, there were two cars at the scene at the time, a white BMW and a blue vehicle. Josh Waring was driving the white BMW and someone else was driving the blue car that belonged to Brian Goldstein. According to the police, Josh pulled the trigger then fled the scene. But according to the victim who survived the shooting, it was the person in the blue car that shot him. And even though the actual victim is adamant that Josh did not shoot him, and after being tested, there was absolutely no gunpowder on Josh whatsoever. He still remains in jail for attempted murder as he awaits his trial. And trouble continues to follow Josh, even in prison. He's been accused of slashing two inmates with modified razors. He's been caught with porn, prescription drugs, and pruno, which is jail wine. In addition to that, he was also charged with tampering with jail security device. His wife was charged and arrested for bringing Hero into the jail for Josh. Even his attorney, Fergus Ginther, got caught attempting to give Josh meth while he was in jail. He even got served divorce papers in jail. And even with all that being said, Lori still vows that her son is innocent. She said that Josh has gotten clean through all of that and she vows to stay by his side until his innocence is proven. Through all of Josh's struggles, Lori has managed to stay happily married to George for 13 years as they raise Josh's daughter, Kennedy. So what do you think of Lori's life after Housewives? And don't forget to let me know in the comments section which ex-housewife should be next.